I was born and raised in Rochester, Minnesota. I have three sisters and one brother, and they all are much older than me. I started performing as a musician when I was probably 13, 14, and I was just a singer. I was always like singing, and I found, um, I had a bunch of friends, and we're all like, let's start a garage band. At our first talent show, you know the song Wonderwall? So we played Wonderwall at the talent show, and we were so nervous that we like played really fast, and it almost sounded like I was rapping, like, yeah, you know what I mean? We got third place, and the article was like, oh, the band did a, a remix version of Wonderwall, and it was just like, no, we were just super nervous. <laughs> it's always been a part of me. When I was a little kid, I'd always be singing and like writing weird little lyrics and things all over the place, and I still do that today. That's why if you go throughout our house, there's like notepads everywhere, and inspiration hits and you want to be ready. I'm of German descent and of Greek descent. So Yaya in Greek means grandma, Papu means grandpa. My heritage is very important to me because it tells me where my lineage has come from. It gives identity to me, which is important. Especially in Rochester growing up, there's a very tight-knit Greek community. And, um, I mean, it's not anything like U.S. culture at all, right? I mean, from language to even, like, food, like baklava and all that kind of stuff. It's like, what the heck is that? I don't know, but it's good. The story of my papu, my grandpa. He was a teenager. You know, this is the late 1800s, early 1900s. His family was Christians, and they lived in these Greek islands. Well, these islands were always disputed between the Turks and the Greeks. And go back and forth, a Turkish tax collector came and beat up my grandfather's dad. And as a form of revenge, my grandfather's brothers went and killed him. So then the Turkish government came and killed all them, and essentially my papu was an orphan. All of a sudden he escaped, and eventually he snuck onto a boat and got to Ellis Island because he knew he had an uncle in Iowa. And uh, I guess the rest is kind of history. But my sister, she went to Ellis Island and saw where we got to write, like where he wrote in his name the day he came in. Like they have a picture upstairs of the boat even that he came in on, which is really cool. I actually never got to meet him because he passed away before I was born. So everything that I know are just from pictures and stories directly from my father. I am in a band called The Morning Kings. That's a Minneapolis like funky alt-rock band. And we tour and play and perform all throughout Minnesota and the upper Midwest. And live shows is our thing. Like we come and we come to party and we come to have a good time. And you know, my goal every every show is to have someone dancing on a table or, or something like that. Just having fun. That's what it's all about. The best part about performing live is the instant release and receiving of energy from people. Playing this music that you work on so, so hard, that you rehearse all these hours and you spend all this time on, and then to like just be loud and you know at a festival like that where there's thousands of people, they start dancing or just reading the room. That's just so cool. It's such a adrenaline high. The best part about touring is the people you meet in the random ways and the random things you see. It's just like going on a road trip with your best friends and you just know you're going out for an adventure. You got a destination, you don't know exactly how you're gonna get there, like things happen, the craziness, right? That's that's just so much fun and so it's like an adventure every time you go out somewhere. Having a studio in your house can be a double-edged sword actually. Because there's a lot of times when I'm walking around the house and it's like, I, I might like walk by and all of a sudden it catches my eye. I'm like, I should probably be in there. I'm not really in the mood right now. But you still gotta go. You still gotta just like go in and, and it's kind of like put on your work hat and just start and then the ideas will come. I would love to say that all of it is just like random inspiration, but it's, it's not always that way. It's nice when that happens but that's not always the case. You just gotta get down to work.
writing lyrics is very much a therapeutic practice for me. I don't always know exactly where it comes from or how it happens, but the fun times, the really fun times, are when you just get like hit by lightning. And this idea for a song or, or maybe some visual art or song name or a lyric just sticks with you. There are times where inspiration hits the way that like someone, you overhear a conversation and just like certain words tie together and that just gets stuck in your head and then a tune can come from it. Hold you closer, hope tonight never ends Cause our love will always set us free Nothing from above or beneath Music has brought me to places that I never thought I'd ever be and meet people that I never could have imagined meeting. Whether it's performing at Soldier Field in Chicago to headlining music festivals out of the state in cities we've never been to before and everyone is dancing and just having a good time with us to going out and recording in LA. or It makes my life so much more fun and interesting than uh, maybe just sitting in a desk all day. My wife is the best. She supports me and helps me in every way. Specifically as a musician or an artist or a band or whatever. It is one thing to go and perform and perform for the people there, but it's also a whole nother to try to document that and give other people that are not there, like the Periscope bird I view into. And Shauna has always been there for me at these shows and helped in that way, which is such an important part. Also, I mean, she's my muse, so like it's pretty easy <laughs> to, I, to write songs. I mean, hey, I got my, she's here, she's beautiful, she loves me and I love her. And from that, so many creative endeavors come. Every hat that I wear, whether it's a husband, a father-to-be, musician, all of that, it all plays its part in making me who I am. But it's not only for me, it's also to show like other people or even our child, you can do whatever you want to do in this world. You can make it work. You can have fun. You just gotta go down that road, go down that path. You and me together never Postcards is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Additional support provided by Margaret A. Cargill Philanthropies. Mark and Margaret Yakel Juline on behalf of Shalom Hill Farms, a retreat and conference center in a prairie setting near Wyndham, Minnesota. On the web at shalomhillfarm.org. Alexandria, Minnesota, a year-round destination with hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for memorable vacations and events. More information at explorealex.com. The Lake Region Arts Council's Arts Calendar, an arts and cultural heritage funded digital calendar showcasing upcoming art events and opportunities for artists in West Central Minnesota. On the web at lrac4calendar.org. Playing today's new music plus your favorite hits, 96.7 Cram. Online at 96.7cram.com. <laughs>